Welcome back, you guys, to Left Play Life is Strange. In the last episode, we uh, we ended up telling Chloe that we have superpowers. Yep. And she wants to claim superpowers. But anyways, we're about to start episode two, so let us continue. <laughs> she literally is mad at me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to react for the rest of this game. I'm going to try to stay stone-faced. No, you're not. I'm going to try. Don't do it. It's One not can try. Please that don't. That should be enough for you. Please don't. <laughs> And there she goes. Uh, so you make me laugh when I'm drunk. You'd make me laugh when I'm drunk, you know? And we get to see our kind of reactions to this whole game. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. These shots are awesome. But I'm not drunk enough. It makes perfect sense I'd seen you. Anyway, I'm trying this peach one. Welcome home, Max. I know, those are good. You, you're gonna like it. If you like peach, you'll love it. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without I don't care for peach too much, but it's not bad. Something happened to her. Wait. I told you if you like grass? peach, you'll like it. Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. Yeah, and by the way, your choices are not shown in this. Max? In this little tidbits here. Just the episode. Just the episode in general. Which is all fine and dandy, I guess. No big deal. Unpack the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Snooze! Anyway, yeah, this is probably definitely been my last thing because I can't even feel my stomach churning. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty warm on the inside. It feels nice. And if you guys are not haven't been watching yet, we've been drinking this whole time. We played one episode so far. I've had like four shots and almost I'm working on my second Seagram Escape. I think I'm like caught with you, but I can't drink as much without feeling sick the next day, so I'm not. This is my last thing. That's fine. And it'll, I will be mellow enough to be able to get through this. Yeah. And she I and she could just watch me twirl into oblivion with my drinks. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't ever feel like finding out what it's like to get to find my limit. I think I found an. I've already found my limit for how, till I can uh, get, you know, tipsy enough that I have a hard time kind of walking. Uh, uh, I don't need to find out what it's like to have a hangover. I can tell you when I'm kind of tipsy, though, I talk a hell of a lot. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, I talk dude. a hell of a lot. And I could probably talk to people much more easier if I had, if I was drunk. thing is, when I drink, I manage to, uh, I manage to do a lot of talking, too. But, and the thing is, when I'm drunk, my speech never slurs. I have a good enough, uh, I have a good enough frame of mind that I can talk normal while I'm drunk and people will never know except when I'm stumbling around. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, that was rude. Oh, Indeed it was. I'm so <laughs> wrecked after staying up all night. I'm gonna be wrecked too. To if I drink any more stuff. So am I! <laughs> I'm gonna drink the rest of mine probably tonight. I won't lie. If I had powers to rewind time, I would literally just do that. Rewind. And this is literally a three minute scene of her just laying in bed listening to music. Literally a three minute scene of her just playing in bed, laying in bed, and listening to music. I don't lie though, if I had time powers, I would literally stop time 10 minutes before my alarm goes off and then just keep it there for like as long as I wanted until I had to get up. Indeed. Anyways. Uh, no one needs showers. Warren is blowing up my inbox now. Too much time. As long as he helps me figure this out. Doctor Who? Look at this thing, it's a TARDIS! I just realized that! <laughs> nice. Boy. He's talking about the doctor! Oh my god! The doctor's in the house. That is so cool. Wait, I, I never this? knew that. See if I can read this, guys. After hey, like Max, the doctor is in the house. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request, and I sent a bunch of physics and science links. Without further ado, here's a few time travel films you must see. As I spend more time, com they come to mind. The doctor exp expects a full explanation of your newfound chrono uh, interest. The time ha. machine. The chrono. 
the time machine primer time after time pulp fiction somewhere in time time slip and time cup that's all the time I have for now to actual quantum physics to plow through and you're not fun back to the future homework that I never get now that you discover the art of science I expect to the lab to be more or as well I could always use a new partner in time get it don't hit don't hit I'm leaving doctor Wait, who pulp fiction serious the switching between timelines is a good week You've never watched Pulp Fiction, have you? I have, but I don't think that'd be a good thing for time traveling. It skips between timelines, sure, but they're not physically this traveling so through insane. them. It sounds I this turn that one off. I would say this is some Sorry about that. Thing. He's sending I... a lot of stuff. But yeah, no, I have actually watched Pulp Fiction around. just once, but I do know there's no time traveling in it. Bet skipping between timelines, yes. I better time not traveling, my no. Supplies. You have two texts from Chloe. Let's look. Got a bail, master. Breakfast is a go. Are you there, Max? Like I said, I'm always for you. No emoji. Sad face. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late. I know the time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. On my way. You're evil. 40 minutes or else. Even with all no emoji. Oh, we also had a, another one. From Mom. Hi, honey. I hope you don't forget to water the plant we gave you. Don't let it drown either. Going on? It is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Showers no supplies. Time. Okay, Max. Let's hit the showers now. Mm. Oh, you know, you do not forget any of those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Rewinding time! Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. <laughs> I'm a good person. No, you can't on this action of consequences. Helping your friend not get hit in the head with, uh... Showers open. And there's Kate. She looks... Horrible. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I did see this. I the person that. actually chose to take a photo, and she's like, "How dare you not stand up for me?" That and he's like, is "She's like, I'm trying to get hardcore proof for you." Different and she's like, "Really?" Here. It's like, Bye yeah. Do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Time to take a shower. Oh, with yes. my clothes on. Oh, yes. Don't ask where I put my clothes. I know, right? Turn them invisible. And also, my hair does not look wet at all. It just looks very shiny. That's what happens when you shower. Your hair gets shiny. What's up, Kate? Hey, the bitch squad. Done. Cool. Done. Done. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her How up. How rude. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Ugh. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. <laughs> Sucks to be you, bitch. You ran all the way. Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. Ouch. Rude. Besides, you haven't showered since you got paint on you? Just saying. Seriously, you could scrub She's that right a off. with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway... 
Let's leave a link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. Uh, I love it. No one says that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> anyway, don't they hear the shower running? Don't they know someone's in there? I know, right? I guess they're deaf. Idiots. I think her PJs are really funny, too. I better get dressed and go give back. We're gonna Even delete this. Yeah, that's a good thing. It, I can't weird. imagine why you wouldn't delete it. Rachel, Rachel is a whore. Oh, I can't. That's stupid. I like what was written on the board. It was like just one big head. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even remind her. Uh, okay. Hold up. I need to find the book before going to see Kate. <sighs> of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. Better fix this fast. She and put the paper the back on top. I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Be gone, <laughs> foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. What you're the not. actual hell? Yeah, no. Because you know, that's what you're saying in your head. It's back to Kate before I'm When late. you're moving stuff. As if I'm not I have right. to worry about being late anymore. And it's stupid that you can't I just do, do it on the first try. Yeah, you gotta knock and ruin stuff before you can do things on the first try. That's how this game works. I know, right? I got one for a private number. Yes. Keep your smart mouth ass shut, smart at mouth shut on everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Kinky. Very. Uh, hey, Kate. I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. I had no choice. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. The Vortex Club. Did you party with them? I went to a Vortex Club party against my better judgment. Not my scene at all. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That's awful. So, how did that happen? It's a long story. I'm still trying to sort it all out. You have to tell me That's more. That's no good. That. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank one. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take yeah, because you know one sip of wine can get you video. completely okay. hammered. Did somebody drug you? Ugh. I remember. <laughs> Nobody like. Even I, remember I actually don't get uh, wine at church gone. anymore. One because every time I do, I get hospital. sick. So that's legit the, right? the main reason. Nathan Prescott. Oh shit. Oh, oh, he was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. Ow. And oh, jeez. And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. 
I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who yeah, took many. the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Poor girl. Yeah, I mean, I like her design or anything, but I do feel bad for her. I know, right? It really sucks. Oh, Max, yeah. Can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Go or look for proof. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police and also Principal Wells. With you, I don't know, man. He didn't really do anything. Have to take us seriously now. Oh, then again, we didn't tell him anything, so. Well, I mean, I believe hmm. you and everything, but. We're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. <laughs> wow. Spoiled punk students. Need to be very careful here. That's really Why? stupid. Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even that would though be that really, really bad. On some yeah, we're already in trouble with David, so. Okay. I think we need more trouble. We could always wish a pox upon their house. I know, right? <laughs> Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. That's okay. <laughs> Hopefully this won't affect me too, too bad. Hopefully. Max, food, two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. No. Oh, shit. Now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. Yeah, because, you know, your friend's anonymously oh, telling you get to breakfast. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did, Did you even find out that? anything about that? What? Oh, that? Um, it's just all that How shit on global warming Lucky and stuff. You. I'm sure he'll gotcha. crack you down, Max. I'll see yeah. you around. Still bugs me that I look at the game cover of Max and the thing. She looks- her face just does not look the same. She actually looks a lot prettier on the uh, box art. I know! And in here, not really as much. At all. <laughs> Plus. <laughs> hey, it's this guy. Her hair the looks so much darker on uh, the box art than in the. I know, okay. right? Oh. Yeah, that's like my. Hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Totem pole. Random totem pole. The animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. Hey, they're birds. What animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. October's my favorite month. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. <laughs> Nothing weird there. Ouch. You saw yours. That's your spirit animal. Could be a sign Nothing weird there. Instinct. Well, I know. My spirit animal is a squirrel. Mm -mm. What's your spirit animal? So, 
What my spirit animal? That freak snow shower Mine's a polar bear. Another message from the earth to get our shit together. My polar bear's spirit animal's name is Orion. Hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get. I literally went on a journey to find out. See you later. Of course you will. Goodbye, sir. Let's go see Chloe, shall we? So I was gonna say, so you're, that's your spirit animal. I actually, I did some meditation and found out that, and I actually learned what my spirit animal is. It's over here. Hello, Warren. Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, oh yes, nice. you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that Walls. Girl, she's pretty <laughs> punk rock. Punk, she's you know pretty it? punk rock. An old friend. Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see your blast up in that truck like a rock star. Funny. Which Little begs bit. the question, <laughs> why is Nathan Prince It's because of the drinks. And because the room's also getting really hot. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I was too scared to tell Principal Wells. Please, don't say anything. I'll give you more info later. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Bizarro. Speaking of dystopia, <laughs> That driving is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Go ape! Go ape! Yes, that's Wait, exactly why is it sure to I love those old block school that's saying films. meow? Well, that was easier hmm? than I thought. His shirt cool. is literally a like block that says, that's saying meow. <laughs> <laughs> or it's a piece of cheese. I can't tell. I think it says meow. It says meow, but I can't tell if it's a box or a piece of cheese. Why would it be a piece of cheese? You know, a cat hiding in a piece of cheese waiting for a mouse. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Can't maybe read into this too much. David talking to a little bit cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Or both. Or both. I just said that. I know, right? Get your own thoughts. <laughs> Rude. I can talk whenever I want to talk. I cannot be tamed. I know you can't. <laughs> now to ride the bus into town. I know, right? I still hate riding buses. The only time I've ever really ridden a bus besides school was when we went downtown to Pittsburgh and... Downtown. 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 I'm time. <laughs> it's a Rakusla on that sandwich. Did you go downtown and watch some stillers? G-Jet. Uh, G-Jet. No. <laughs> Yins. Everybody loves Pittsburghese. Apparently the ugliest accent there is in the world. I know, right? One of uh, my mom's best friends always says Yins, and I'm like, I hate that word. Apparently the reason why... It we don't actually Look at this. Gas prices there are 407. Dang. Literally, that is ridiculous. Well, gas. You know that they're global warming. Uh yeah, but anyway, though. What does global warming have anything to do with gas prices? I don't know. People blame global warming for everything. Anyway though, I actually apparently the reason why the like this we actually my family actually does not speak. My dad's side of the family actually doesn't speak with a Pittsburgh uh, he's accent. It's because apparently uh, uh, my dad, they weren't actually allowed, they were forbidden from ever talking that way. That's amazing. Yeah, I do talk like a Pittsburgh person whenever I say like Dan Tan and stuff like that, but other than that, I don't really talk like a Pittsburgh person. Uh, my brother said, my brother who says you, if you are in Pittsburgh, if you actually live in Pittsburgh, like when he's down there for Point Park, you can hear it in some. You can hear it in people's voices who it's, actually live in there. It's just funny because, like, I look at that four oh seven for gas. Four seventeen, four twenty seven. Jeez, that is real expensive for gas. Good lord. Yep. I didn't even pay that much in California for gas. How much did you pay in California for gas? Three bucks. 
That's not terrible. But anyways, I think we're going to cut the episode off here for now. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. Talk to you guys later, right? Bye-bye.